today I'm at NUS Hack and Roll, the largest student hackathon in NUS. Other than judging, looking at some of the stuff they built, I'm going to ask them a couple of questions about the job market, about AI, why they play computer science. Yeah, let's find out. If you could work in any company, which company would you pick? Big Tech, Google or Microsoft. Google for their pantry. Meta or Google. You get this feeling that you're working for something that's changing the world. Open AI. Open AI. ChatGPT got us here. ChatGPT will take us all the way. For now, there's only one. Jump trading. I love jump trading. Apple. I love iPhones. Motion Twins. Please hire me. Anything that pays me. Nvidia. Uh, TikTok. GovTech. 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 Like GovTech. Life balance there is super. Goldman Sachs. Yeah. Bank of America. DBS, bro. I don't know. I want to be a Finn, bro. Probably a corn firm. It's very intellectually stimulating. Definitely, uh, it's quite a good job in terms of the monetary gains, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think AI is going to replace software engineers? Hopefully not soon, because I'll be out of a job. Huh? No, definitely not. Software engineers is definitely needed to vet the code that AI wrote. If you want to develop something specific, you need some of the expertise to specify it properly. That's pretty much what developers do. What software engineers do, they tend to work on very complex systems. What AI is really good on is working on systems with like lower levels of complexity. We've been using ChatGPT for majority of our assignments, and bro, there's so much that needs to be changed from whatever they generate, man. You just use AI without Knowing what AI is doing, we will probably do this thing way fast, but at the same time, right, we will fill out the technical debt. It definitely cannot fully replace us for the next 20 or 30 years. There's a lot of things like Devin. At the end of the day, there's still software engineers that need to plan out requirements. A lot of communication that's involved. Uh, like the programming part, I guess, so maybe. But then the ideation, at least for now, no. Like, I think ChatGPT is quite stupid for ideas. The implementation can sort of like be tackled by AI itself, but like, there are a lot of things that is beyond coding, discussing requirements, figure out things from very different aspects of like, the business. It's a bit hard to say now because who knows how much you'll grow in the next coming years. ChatGPT is around two to three years in the market. So if it's so developed now, by the time I graduate from university, ChatGPT will be almost two times its age. AI really has the potential to blow up even more. It will definitely replace the coders who don't know how to adapt to like AI. But if you're smart enough to learn how to adapt to this like new technology, you shouldn't be the one getting replaced. It will replace the junior level engineers. But I think the more senior roles are actually in higher demand. If you have a good understanding of the high level architecture, you're able to utilize your co-pilot, your aider, your cursor. People who use these kind of tools will be the ones that will excel. And the people who don't, those are the people whose software jobs will be lost. What's your expected starting salary? 4 to 5k. 4k. 5,000? 5k. Enough so that I don't have to live on the streets. 4 to 5k. 5 to 6k. 5 to 6k. 6k? I feel like if I say too large a number, I'll get roasted or like 6 to 6.5. If I work at Goldman Sachs, it will obviously be a, a lot higher than that. Uh. 7. Hoping for 8. I think the average starting salary for my degree is about 5,000 to 6,000. My grades are a little bit better than average, so <laughs> I think I'll expect a little bit higher than that. You will be employed, but it will be a huge range. Uh. The intake numbers are actually quite crazy. 1.8k computing students per year. That's not including the DSA people, not including DSA. Not including outside of anywhere. Or like buying for the same spot in Singapore. I think it will be competitive, which is like kind of what we are brought up to uh, suffer from. Why do you all pick computer science? Uh, I, I didn't. Like, my friend told me it would be a good backup choice because I tried to apply for another course, then I didn't get it, then I ended up in computer science. Which is yeah. the other yeah. course that you have to Medicine. Medicine. Oh. Got to follow the Indian stereotypes, uh, you know.